Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out February 18th, 2019, in Montgomery Advertiser. Alabama paper editor calls for Klan return to clean out D.C. Wow. The editor of a small town um, Alabama newspaper published an editorial calling for the Ku Klux Klan to night ride again against Democrats in the Republican Party and Democrats who are plotting to raise taxes in Alabama. Okay, so this is the man that is saying this stuff. His name is Goodlow Sutton, who is the publisher of the Democrat Re Reporter newspaper in Lydon, Alabama, confirmed to the Montgomery Advertiser on Monday that he authored the February 14th editorial calling for the return of a white supremacist hate group. If we could get the Klan to go up there and clean out D.C., we'd all be better off, Sutton said. Yeah, Sutton, try it. <laughs> try it. You're going to have something waiting for you in D.C. And this is what he wrote. This is the actual clip of what he wrote. Klan needs to ride again. Time for the Ku Klux Klan to... Night ride again. Democrats in the Republican Party and Democrats are plotting to raise taxes in Alabama. They do not understand how to eliminate expenses when money is needed in other areas. The socialist um, communist ideology sounds good to be the ignorant, the uneducated and simple minded people. People who do not understand the Constitution do not like to be responsible. Ooh, I know this man think he is sound and intelligent. He is so not. Slaves just freed after the Civil War were not stupid. At times, they borrowed their former master's robes and horses and rode through the night to frighten some evildoers. And slaves didn't do that. Slaves didn't do that. This man is talking out of his ass. He is talking out of his ass for real. So now he's trying to blame the activities of the Ku Klux Klan in the South on slaves that stole their master's robes. Get the hell out of here. That, that shit didn't happen. Sometimes they had to kill one or two of them. But so what? That didn't happen, y'all. That, that you know, that's one thing about these hardcore races. They don't have the truth in them. They'll make shit up. And you saw that from a story I did a few weeks ago on this state representative that got up and made up something about King that was also inaccurate. Okay, this is the same. So what used when De this is the same so what used when democrats got us into world war one and world war two then they got us fighting in korea next when the industrial northeast wanted more money they got us in the vietnam war and now into the middle east war if you haven't noticed, they did away with the draft so their sons would not have to go into battle. Seems like the Klan would be welcome to raid the gated communities up there. They call them compounds now. Truly, they are the ruling class. Ladies and gentlemen, this coming out of a high IQ mind. Wow. X to elaborate what he meant by clean up DC, Sutton suggested lynching. Well, get the hemp 
ropes out, hoop them over the tall limb, and hang all of them, Sutton said. When asked if he felt it was appropriate for the publisher of a newspaper to call for the lynching of Americans, Sutton doubled down on his position. It's not calling for the lynchings of Americans. These are socialist communists we're talking about. Do you know what socialist and communism is? Sutton said. America don't care about either one of those things. Just look at the history. You know, when these folks came into the land, they got free land and all kinds of things, right? And never turned down a free thing this government gave away. So you're not against socialism. And as far as communism, America's not against communism either. If America was so hard on being against communism, then you would never have let all these Chinese people in here to set up a Chinatown in every single major city in America. What are Chinese people? They're communists. They come from communist China. And even if they were born here, they're still the offspring of communist China. That being said, you ain't against communism. In the newspaper editorial, Sutton wrote, Democrats, okay, we it's really the same thing. When asked if he recognized the KKK as a racist and violent organization, Sutton disagreed, comparing the Klan to the NAACP. <laughs> the NAACP never went into white towns, torched them all. They never hung white people from the tree. They never did anything that resembles what the Klan has done. So that comparison is just as asinine as ever. But you keep running with that, okay? A violent organization, the NAACP is not no violent organization, and there's no history of that to back it up. Well, they didn't kill, but a few people, Sutton said, the Klan wasn't violent until they needed to be. <laughs> yeah, you needed to be all the time. Man, get out of here with that. So I guess all these cops that we know are Klansmen because we've seen them stupidly post stuff on social media. I guess they only out here using violence unless they need to. Okay, I guess they needed to use all that violence on unarmed black people. It, it was necessary, y'all. <laughs> Sutton said he he didn't know any clan remaining in the area. He's not telling the truth, y'all. Stating most died out after the 60s. Okay, so in America, every single Klansman died out after the 60s, y'all. This man don't have a truthful bone in him, okay? He, he don't have an ounce of truth in him. The editor said he welcomed people to call him, write him a letter or boycott him. I wouldn't waste my energy contacting you, Sutton. I think you're an idiot. Sutton, who has worked at the newspaper since 1964. Yeah, look like his mind has not left 1964 inherited the publication from his father. Yeah, where did your father get it from? Sutton and the newspaper received national acclaim in the 1990s for their reporting on a corrupt local sheriff. In 2015, he ran a headline titled Selma Black Thug Murder <laughs> Demo Polite Saturday Night. At that time, the newspaper had about 3,000 subscribers. Okay, so th th this man ain't doing nothing but running a racist propaganda newspaper. That's all it is. And like he said, he worked there since 1964. And you can see his mind is still in 1964. He's not in this decade at all. 
Okay, so what I'll do, I'll leave the link to this piece about him talking about the Klan coming and cleaning out D.C. Wow. I can just stand, see this man standing under a tree with a lynch black body in it. We may have to check those pictures. I bet you his face is in it. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.